live Malaysia for winning their first ever Super 500 World Tour Tournament. Now, women's singles coming up here. The six-seeded Thai, Ponpawi Chochuong, up against Korea's massive star, second-seeded An Se Young, who will have superb support. And uh, this is how they have made their way to the final. Ratchanok Intanon was the seed disposed of by her compatriot, Cho Chu Wong. And then she beat Kim Gaun in the semi-finals. That was a three-gamer. And so young, she was effortless, wasn't she, against PV Sindhu. There is Pompawi Cho Chu Wong. Who perhaps surprised a few by making it all the way to the final. Hoping to upset the apple cart again. Bon Pawi, who has got medals in the Sudirman Cup 2017 and 2019. Silver medal in the Bangkok and the Uber Uber Cup and last year in Aarhus. Asian Games bronze medalist, the women's team event in 2018. 2017 Asia Mixed Team Championships. And Asia Team Championships in 2016 and 2020, along with plenty of Southeast Asian Games medals as well, including gold and bronze. Here is An Se Young, who's a huge star, not only in the world of badminton, but of course here in Korea. And she has really started to rack up some very, very impressive performances. Most promising player back in 2019. So Cup last year, bronze medal. Bronzes in the Uber Cup in 2018 and 2020. Silver in 2020's Asia Team Championships and the 2018 Asia Team Black Championships color. as well. They have played four times. An Se Young has won every single one Red of them. You won the toss. That Most side. recently what do you choose? in okay. New Zealand. To serve. Actually, well to a final, excuse me. She won that 25-23, uh, 21-17. Uh, that was not all that long ago in December of last year. But every one of her matches has been in straight games, as it was against PV Sindhu. 337 matches Pon Babi has played, won 215 of them coming into this tournament, lost 122. And so young, I mean, this is a tremendous record. She's won four times as many matches as she's lost. 163 wins and just 40 losses, 203 matches. So Pon Pawi, 24 years of age from Rayong, 170 centimeters tall, and she is currently at her highest ever ranking of 10th in the world. Playing some of the best badminton at the moment. And this was her path. Pretty straightforward at the start against Teresa Slavikova of the Czech Republic and India's Malvika Bansod. And then it got trickier. A big win against Ratchanok Intanon, we mentioned. And an even longer match against Kim Gaun. That's for Ansu Young. She's only just turned 20 a couple months ago. She too is 170 centimeters tall and also playing at her highest ever rank. And also just an hour away from here in Guangzhou, where we will be next week for the Korea Masters a tournament that she has won before. An opportunity to win her first Korea Open. Now looking at her path, uh, beating Kudravali of India very easily, as well as Yo Jamin of Singapore. Straightforward as well against Saina Kawakami. And people might think, well, on paper, that would have been a tough one against BB Sindhu, but her record against Sindhu is superb, and that continued in the semi-final. And we were so impressed with the way she took on Sindhu, weren't we, Steve? Yeah, she dominated uh, the match totally with her shot making. And Sindhu. Mata Chahari, the umpire, Indonesian. And his compatriot Wahyana is the service judge. You think Popa would be right up against it today? Well, I think she's going to um, to struggle. Um, she hasn't won a game against An Se Young yet, and I just feel that the shot quality of the Korean is um, 
looking to be a bit better, judging from um, the semi-final matches that we saw. Big ask here for Pon Pawi today against this young lady. And of course, she's also got the crowd factor in her favor. Love all play. I'm not sure they saw that at first, but it was the opening point to Ponpawi. And then there's a few groans in the crowd from yeah. the realization. It's not going to be fireworks from uh, Anse Young. It's going to be like this rally we saw here with deliberate, high-quality uh, shots, both from the front court and from the back court. So it's up to Cho Chu Wong to um, sort of uh, break out of that or challenge her and show that she's better than uh, Anse Young in, in that department. And I think that eventually will become um, too much and we'll see her uh, take some more chances. Something you were pointing out yesterday was Cho Chu Wong was trying to force the issue against Kim Gaon, and that's where she came unstuck. Yeah, that, that was uh, against Kim Gaon, which was um, physically um, strong. And um, again, we have to discuss the shuttles. Um, that was the case yesterday that uh, whenever Cho Chu Wong tried to apply power, she got herself into trouble. So. Um, She's got excellent technical skills, the, um, the Thai player. Um, well, I'm curious to see if she has the uh, quality of all these skills to, um, to challenge Ansi Young. That's well played. That is very nicely done by Torchu Wong. He has started this match well. Three, one. Got just enough time there. The clear from uh, Anse Young a little bit too high. And immediately, Cho Cho Wong punished her. That is wide and point to Anse Young. Two, three. Talking all the Thai players is um, sort of using nicknames or abbreviations when uh, they practice, and uh, I mean, with the sometimes uh, tricky uh, spelling, who can blame them? But uh, Cho Cho Wong's nickname is Mew. <laughs> Good shot. Very nicely done. Yeah. Extremely good Four. shot placement there on the, especially the second one. But it's a good way of um, starting out with a bit more marking and then finally move the shots a little bit closer to the lines. I think what we're going to see 
soon from Anseong is that she's going to try to neutralize the first of um, these shots from Cho Cho Wong. Oi, oi, oi. Lost the footing. Yeah, she lost the footing and she also was thinking about that Hi. shot at the back, wasn't she, for a second? Yeah. And characteristic, the start on So Young. Judged well. Seven, seven, four, five. Yeah. Couple of those now for Chochu Wong. Five, oh. Uh, where was she playing it from? Uh, she was playing it correct length that's very strange that it suddenly goes long there Six, Again, good placement five. out of the reach of um, or immediate reach of Anseyong Level oh. now, and so young. Oh. Wide, I think. Yeah, and so young challenges. That looks Balls pretty wide, but out. let's see. Excellent play by Cho Cho Wong, who's started Eight, out really six. well, mm. making the court big for uh, An Se Yong. Well, this has been very good from Pon Pawi, Cho Cho Wong. So young, big ones as well. French Open, so 750, B. Carolyn Marin in 2019. Indonesia Masters against Akane Yamaguchi in 2021. Uh, oh, out, and that's going to get challenged. Most recent, of course, Five World Tour Finals against B.B. Sindhu. Challenges out. And Indonesia Open as well. Let's see. Long. That looked pretty long, didn't it? Yeah. 
challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. Eight or play. Good deception. Lovely deception. Beautiful. Nine. Eight. I have a feeling that um, Cho Cho Wong is getting a little bit insecure playing the long backhand corner of um, An Se Yong. She's made two, three errors. Played it long there. That has almost not been possible the whole week. Now just growing in confidence here. Eight. Really attacked that well. Yeah. Good job to put it away on the front court. She has a great record in finals. And so young as she goes into the break, 11-8 up. She's won eight of the 12 finals she's been in. And one of those where she finished runner-up, she had to retire from the Denmark Open. Shake of the head. Nine, eleven. There'll be more time representation a little bit later on with the Imsad sisters in the women's doubles final. Yeah, she'll be a little annoyed with that one. Twelve, nine. Shuttle Ten. two rallies ago, uh, Chu Chu Wong. I think they had a faster shuttle than um, the rest of the dozen. Comes in tubes of 12. The uh, badminton shuttles. That seemed to take her by surprise. Han? No, she was trying to play a really, really good deception, but um, unsuccessful. Well, <laughs> the crowd got four. excited for a second. This has been a good little period here for Tochi Wong. to do and she's really Three. trying to make the court big for Anse Young especially targeting the uh, forehand net corner she tries to get her to take one extra step there and then plays it one more time and and she's a little bit um, 
sort of stiff in her footwork uh, to that corner and Ziyong. So uh, well done by uh, Cho Cho Wong to target it. That's more like it. Thirteen. And there you go, the crowd getting behind her. Excellent, taking it early again. And of course, alert to the fact that um, Cho Cho Wong is trying to play that corner there, but um, spins way too high the uh, net shot from, look how much time she has Anse Young all the time the shuttle spins upwards it has to come down again and that's giving your opponent extra time good couple of points for Anse Young but uh, Torture One pulls one back here they're level Sarasota, 14 all. What happened there, Steve? That's a foot fault. It was called for a foot fault. And we, we can barely see it here, but you have to have both feet on the floor until the service launched. And it's very, very tricky to see when the service launched and when it's still held in the hand by um, Chu Chu Wong. Well, that's frustration, isn't it, for Cho Chu Wong? Yeah, you cannot. And there's, you can see, um, Anse Young takes a little step when she's starting the serve, and that's also questionable whether that's uh, that's a challenge, whether that's allowed. And the former double Olympic champion Lin Dan, he was. I um, can't remember which field it was on, but one of the field sides, he was almost standing on the line every single time, and that's <laughs> not allowed either. That's going to get overturned. That yeah. ball there. That looks pretty in, doesn't it? Very clearly. Clearly in. Correction in. <laughs> There's a look from there, Chochu Wong. And speaking oh. of uh, Lin Dan, there was a controversy Three. here in 2008, 14 years ago, when he lost the final to home favorite Lee Hyun Il. Lots of dispute over line calls. And, uh, Lee Hyun Il ended up winning one of only two Korean men's singles title ever here in uh, Korea Open. Things look effortless, doesn't she? Sarasota, 16, 15. I think uh, Cho Cho Wong tried the right thing with the reverse slice. It's just a very, very difficult shot to execute well. Young's had a good start to the year. 16. Coming into this tournament with seven wins and two losses. This is Pon Pawi Cho Chu Wong's Thank first you. tournament this year. <coughs> Finished runners up at the All England, didn't she? Yeah. Uh, Hansa Young. slightly injured and then contracted COVID afterwards so didn't go to any of the European tournaments. Not making uh, the right choices 
at the net at the moment or perhaps making the right choices but um, not um, having the right shot quality I'm talking about these shots that spin too high before they uh, dive below the tape Nancy Young now goes two points clear of her opponent in this first game. And this is where we see the retrieval skills and the game reading skills of Nancy Young um, in work because she challenges Cho Cho Wong to use shots that she's not as confident with as. Um, the ones she would like to choose, but Anse Young has already read them. Quick at the net there again. It's landed in. It is in. She is going to challenge that. Anse Young. Challenges balls in. She had a good look at that. A good long hard look uh, at that one. That's close, I think. close one in the previous match and this one is just as close. And so you got a very very long hard look at that and that's well done by her. the way that Cho Cho Wong has been playing in this first game and that was the way that scored her points but now it's closed down and she's losing points there now not enough variation Three game points to save here for Bonpawi Chonchuwong. Oh, yeah, that's wide. Oh, what a way to end that first game. Anse Young takes it 21 17 against Bonpawi Chonchuwong. In this women's singles final, the career open 2022.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Second game. Level. Play. That's in. That's that misjudgment One. that we talk about at the far end. Yeah. We talked about yesterday as well that um, Cho Chu Wong often is a comeback player that she can uh, lose the first game and then um, come back. But um, it's a um, tough task here against the uh, home favorite. Started that first game very well, didn't she, Pompawi? Yeah. And the cross net drops are working much better than the uh, straight ones. It tends to spin a little bit too high. The crosses, though, they're magnificent. Well out that one. Service over. Two. All. Times that's already happened in this game. Yeah, I think the shot from uh, Anse Young is uh, too short. As mentioned earlier in the tournament, it's a good um, rule of thumb to see if at least one feet of the athlete is touching the uh, first of the two tram lines at the back, otherwise, the shot is too short. Can the opponent. one but uh, had total control over the cross net shot from uh, Cho Chung Wong had An Se Young she's read it she knows that it's more likely than mm. other shots higher probability than normal than this shot is coming good shot Height on that. This shot here. Three. Lovely little flick with the racket. And the follow up. A bit like we saw yesterday. Not the same high quality as the uh, initial attacking shot.
interesting with these follow-ups on the front court because we saw it also when uh, Vitesan was playing uh, Jonathan Christie. So it seems like it's sort of like systemic with the Thai <laughs> single players that um, the emphasis is somewhere else, which can also be good, but then at some point you need to address this problem with uh, putting it away when you have the chance on the front court because you're not going to get is very big chances at the Are the you saying there's a, 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 almost a hesitation? Uh, the, I don't think it's a hesitation. I, I think they're not doing it enough. It, it's not a, a, It's not in the game plan. The game plan is to kill it mm. from the back court. We saw it with Rachinok early in her career as well. She's gotten better at the front court. But I, I just think it's it's a different way of seeing uh, singles, both women's singles and men's singles. Five, six. You won't be able to kill it from the back court yeah. against the better players. So you need to be able to put it away. You need to have the technical skills, the game reading skills on the front court to put it away. Otherwise, you let too many chances slip away. Yeah. You let the opponents get away with um, a half weak shot. And in the end, you can't afford it. gone long in this game from Chochu Wong. That's actually good news for Cho Chuang, given how many uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, mistakes she's committed on the um, back line of An Se Young. Yeah, it's been about three or four of those, as you said. And yeah. yeah, it's all square. This is similar to how things were in that first game. Goes into the lead here. Eight, seven. And again, the demonstration of uh, how many chances she needs to uh, put it away. And Seung had actually weathered the storm when she uh, made this error here. Well, the positive thing is that she gets there at all. She plays herself to the chances. Really well placed shot That's from uh, Dan Seon, who's mentioned that she wants to work on the attack, she wants to become more dangerous. This is one of her best weapons the cross smash from the uh, round the head side. Again, again, no. a number of these.
time at Tansu Yap. Yeah, very clearly out. See what she was trying to do, Torture Walk. Thirty one shots. No rally. She goes into the interval, 11-9 up in game two. Remember, Hansi Young has never dropped a game against 11, this opponent. Nine. Play. Winner. Taught you what? Ten, eleven. Can hear a coach there with more instructions. Again for Chochuwong. 
Well, uh, we're at five or six. Yeah. Errors, and I just don't think you can afford that against uh, Ansi no. Young. Definitely racking those up. There have been a few errors as well from Ansa Young. She's not quite at a ruthless best like we saw her against PV Sindhu. No, but, but she's also facing a different opponent mm. uh, with, um, in my opinion, better shot quality in terms of um, playing close to the lines. that she's played too close on the wrong side here in the second game but um, still directing a lot of the uh, rallies well that has been challenged One, by Torchu Wolf she felt that was out It's plumb on the line. It is in to the delight of the home crowd. Probably worth a call, One worth challenge. a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. And she's now three ahead. Starting to pull away. Play. Done to the both of them. And that is what's Thank required you. of um, Chu Chu Wong to score consistently playing rallies like this because Anse Yong is going to get that much back and she is going to read a certain amount it's of your shots. It's a new subtle. Still keeping herself in this, Georgia Wong. Only a couple points in it. 15. Defense. 
Well played. And she's done it out to Young. It looked like the tide might be turning in that rally. Well, Anse Young goes on to win it. 15, 15. Wow. Great reaction by uh, the top seed. She isn't actually in the top seed, that was Chen of Fate. Yeah, second, so second seed. She was uh, staying close to the net, waiting for the opportunity, uh, Cho Cho Wong, after the good uh, pressure to the backhand side. After this one, sensing that it might just be a block. And if it's a, an attempt to play it long, she has a lot more time to get below it, so really well done. She's drawn level here, Cho Chu Wong. Yeah, I've been sitting with this uh, sensation that um, we've just been waiting for An Yong to sort of uh, <laughs> see this through in the second game yeah. and eventually convert and be crowned the winner. But um, maybe that's getting a little bit ahead of uh, myself. OK, so now. That was just to be in. Chochu Wong has immediately challenged that. I think she might have a case here. Yeah. I think so too. Wow. Interesting. And she is right. And now she is in the lead. Well, well. A little twist in the tail. 17. Sixteen. Now, will she turn the tables here? Young, but um, could keep it inside. Cho Cho Wong there. Very 
very nicely done. Yeah. If we get that in uh, replay, then look how the shuttle is not spinning up high, but almost immediately dipping below the top of the tape. She's just edging, edging slowly but surely, perhaps, and so young. 19, 18. Towards that magical 21. before she hit it almost. That's yes, amazing. She will do it. Yep. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Match point 18. Total confidence in the follow-up there, putting it away. And two match points, two championship points here for Ansa Young to become only the third Korean woman to have won this competition, the fourth rather. She's done it. Ansa Young follows in the footsteps of some legends here of Korean badminton like Bong Soo Hyun and one of her idols in Sung Ji Hyun. An emotion here from the youngster. The rising star of badminton. And she's absolutely loving it. And so did the crowd. And she's playing up to it. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Oh, there's a lucky recipient of her racket as well. Brilliant stuff. Answer Young. This young lady is such a star, isn't she? And she beat Pompo in Georgia Wong 21 17, 21 18 in just about 52 minutes. But Popo we talked to one played a part in this as well, didn't she, Steve? I think she can uh, take a lot from this match, and she can uh, go home and identify some areas where uh, she needs to improve, and it's not the hardest areas to improve, so uh, I think she can uh, safely say that she has a chance in the future to beat An Young if she can improve these areas here. Yes, yeah, so what we'll... a character. Absolutely. Look what that means. <laughs> this is great. And as Anton from Denmark has her as uh, his favorite badminton player because of the style, the <laughs> attitude. Just 20 years of age. Yeah, love the attitude. Great competitor, Anto Young. And yeah, just only a handful of Korean women have won this, so she joins that very select band. But very shortly, we will have the prize presentation for the women's singles final.
가족 여러분 지금부터 2022 코리아 높은 배드민턴 선수권대회 여자 단식 경기의 시상식을 거행하겠습니다. 입상 선수 입장! Welcome players! 메달과 마스코트 수에는 추토브 연예가 So here are the uh, two finalists. First up is the runner-up. Runner-up, Pong Pao-i, Cho Chu Wong of Thailand. The sixth seed. And now to great acclaim and big cheers here. Han Su Young from Korea, the second seed. And the champion here of the Korea Open 2022. <laughs> Well, it's checked there for 27,000 US dollars for An Young, just under 14,000 for Pompawi. Both of these two have the All England runners up medals in common. I don't think it'll be long before we see her winning that one. Not so young, Steve. Uh, <laughs> depends, I think. But, um, it's going to be interesting to follow her. And um, Next up here, mid yep. singles. Well, Jonathan Hong Christie. Young. Yep, against Jonathan Christie. That's coming up next.
So we're into our third final here at the Korea Open 2022 after the mixed doubles and women's singles final. Both of them have ended in straight games victories. And this will be the only final without a Korean presence as the Chinese player Wong Hong Yang takes on Jonathan Christie, the third seeded Indonesian. So let's take a look at their path to the final.